Hi and welcome. Today we are gonna open a Flower Maiden or Purity starter deck. This is gonna be one of the first star decks I ever opened on this channel, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. And me, yeah, we are also gonna open this. I got these were when I bought the starter deck, so yeah, it's gonna be fun to see what is inside these. So we're gonna end with them, and we're gonna start with the starter deck. Hopefully we can get some awesome cards from the Star Deck, which we are gonna get because we know that we are always getting awesome stuff in Star Decks. Well, not in Yogi, but in Vanguard might be a little bit different. In Yogi, we never get anything good. So this is the broken pieces. Throw that on the floor, and let's see. And we have more plastic garbage so they can put on the floor. And here we have the Star Deck. Nicely sealed. And here we have, well, the rule books and whatever. And we can look at it. It's nothing really that interesting. I think, yeah, this is the starter's guide where you basically learn how to play the game. Personally, I don't, I still don't know how to play this game. Funnily enough, uh, yeah, I am still trying to learn, but I have a decent idea how it works, but, you know, it's the same thing with Yogi. I didn't know how that worked until I played, so when I get to play a couple of games, well, then... And then, of course, we have the playmat, which I don't want, because I already have awesome playmats, so I don't need a paper one that's not good-looking. And this is gonna be fun. Okay. Apparently there are something here. I think. Oh yeah. Here we have the starter deck. We start off with uh, Flower Princess of Springs Arborea. Arborea? Flower Princess of Springs Arborea. Ah, she looks cool. I'm gonna leave that because that's the only holographic we get in the whole in the whole set. So we're gonna leave that, of course. Still looks pretty damn good. Flower Princess of Springs Arborea. Arborea or Arborea? I still don't know. Arborea or Arborea? I don't know. I'm really bad at pronouncing this card name. And then we have common versions of her. We got one more. Oh, we get another holographic card. A, binoc a binoculus flower maiden. Abasha? Rambanculus Flower Maiden. Abasha. Rambanculus. Hm. Ah, well, that's a word. Our word for a day. Rambanculus. Rambunculus? <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at pronouncing English words. You can hear that. Yeah. <clears throat> Flower Maiden. Oh, she looks kind of cool. We get a common version of her as well. Well, that's. We're gonna sleeve the holographic version. Any hollow gets sleeved. I think he looks kinda cool, so. And then we have a Jungle Lord Dragon. I gotta say, this card looks really awesome. I mean, he's kinda big if you look at it. I mean, look can see like uh, mountains and stuff behind him and he is, I don't know if he's up in the air or if he stands on the ground. Look like he stands on the ground. That would mean that he is fucking big, like he's a huge dragon. So, 
you get three of that. Huh. Oh no, four. Four of that. And you get full bloom dragon. Well, that looks cute. Adorable. I don't know. It looks really cute. You get two of them. And then you get blossoming blossoming maiden Kela Sila. Blossoming maiden Sila. Huh. Kinda cool, you get one, two, three, four of her. Grace Knight, well, okay, you get one, two of her. And Maiden of Gladios. Maiden of Gladios, oh, you get one of her. And she is in some holographic pattern. So that means that she gets sleeved, yay. I really wish you could get a whole play set of holographic cards because you know you only get one of each so it would be much more cool if you got like all of them holographic but yeah at least I have one of each so if I have to buy one later if I have to buy them later I have at least one so that's not too bad and then we have another one Quinn Quan Kiwi well I like Kiwi Budding Maiden Deanne <laughs> for her. Coral Barry Square. They kind of look related. I don't know, this looks like the little sister of this guy, but for her. Gardener Elf, two of them. And 100% Orange, two of them. Huh. Maiden of Seth Flower. I think they wa wanted to kind of like a saffron, but they said Seth Flower. Sounds weird. Three of them. Springs Healing Maiden Usu. Maiden of Dio Dimorph. Diomorphiesa? Ah, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Maiden of Diomor... Diomorpho... Hecka? Diomorpho Hecka? That's how it sounds like. Maiden of Diomorpho Hecka. I don't know. That's how it sounds for that. And then we have Heaven Ho Turnip. And we get four of them. Lavender Knight, you get two of them and you get uh, fairy light dragon four of them and then you get uh, a maiden of daybreak or two you get two of them but you get one holographic huh. so that's kinda cool I do wonder if it's random which holographics you get in this. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, she's holo. Yeah, it's really hard to see. It's kind of shiny outside, so it's really hard to see. But you, I got these as holographics, so I don't know. If you get different, different ones from different star decks, that would be kind of cool. But yeah, these are the ones I got, so. Kind of look. As I was saying, I don't know if you get difference from from different decks and stuff, but yeah, I can. I, I'm gonna look into that after this, but yeah, I don't know. But this is a cool star deck, definitely an awesome one. And I'm probably gonna try to get play sets of these uh, in holographic if I can. Because they look pretty damn awesome. So on to these uh, packs here. Hopefully we can get something awesome. This video has already gone on far longer than I wanted to. But yeah, sometimes that happens. Specifically if you try to... Oh. 
So we have Seeker Lightsaber Dragon, Royal Paladin, and a Seeker Light Blaze Dragon, also Royal Paladin. So I guess. Oh, yeah, it's one of these cards that has like connect connected artwork. Cool. Looks kind of badass. So yeah, probably gonna try to do that every single time now so you can see how it looks when it's connected. I have Machina Tarantula MK2 and Machina Hornet MK2. Nothing like that. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. Well, so I guess these packs contain those type of cards. And yes, I think. Yeah, wolves and foxes. Or two foxes, I don't know. Are there any white foxes? I think there are, but who knows. Oh, Angel Feather. This is actually a clan I do, do really like. Uh, I love Angel Feather, or I like Angel Feather. He's one of those awesome archetypes. I think I'm gonna sleeve these two. Yeah, it's because I like these arc, this clan. No other reason. Just sleeving the. I, I like sleeving cards that. I think it's cool, and I think these are cool. I think Annual Feather is an arc, is a clan I wanna build more of. So that's awesome. And here we have some dancing guys. It's Murakumo. Well, this was the ugliest woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, a blue tongue and everything. On to the last pack and see what is what. Ah, oh, it's Pale Moon. That's too shabby. And that looks awesome. I like Pale Moon, so I'm gonna sleeve these these cards as well. You know, that's because I like Pale Moon. Plus, they look really awesome. Yeah, so basically, well, that's all the cards I got. And you can see there. You can see this. And then you can see all the hollows that I pulled from this from the structure deck. So, hope you like this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And see you next time. And then we're gonna open more boxes. So, yeah. See ya. Bye.